Hello everyone, it's Jamal Thomas. Welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. So I went on Facebook, checked messages and everything else, and I saw a post or a notification from Laura Steiner. Laura Steiner, I've always said a woman is a pit bull. I've been on her show, she's been on mine, she's a friend of the show. And she asked, what other candidates are the Democratic Party shafting? Meaning, who else are they putting their thumb on the scale with besides Jaffe in California? Um, Mosler and and um, Tim Canova in Florida. Look at the list that came up. This list is amazing. Lisa Ring, Congressional District, Georgia. This was the Steny Hoyer tape that I mentioned. Yatish Joshi for Congress. I'm his campaign manager, Indiana. Let's see. Viva Juan Rea. I don't know who that is. Virginia congressional candidate at Lynchburg prosecutors investigate out here in Virginia CD6 Bob Goodlot's district he's retiring which covers the western part of the central Virginia there are four Democrats running in the primary Jennifer Lewis is one of the candidates and her campaign is on fire with a grassroots progressive approach supporters call themselves Lewis gang Jennifer is former Bernie supporter meanwhile the state Democratic Party is partial to Peter Folson a milk toast candidate if there ever was one. Here's the news article on how the local Democratic Party allegedly favored Volson, Volson getting the top slot in the ballot. David Hillebrand, United States Senate, California. I am from the District 4 and it sounds all too familiar as in tape discussions. Jessica Morris was picked right away by the DCCC and has outdone Mick Clintock in fundraising. She is a trust baby, and the Democratic Party has never backed a candidate other than lip service because we are in a very rare district. To complicate matters, three other Democrats are also running, but all pledged to drop out if one got the DCCC endorsement. More scattered, but all the others did not keep their word. I'm wondering who's the plant, who's the shill, and who's the saboteur. Bernie Delegate Patrick Elf Nelson in New York, California. Ian Golden, New York. Dana Balter, New York. There are more. Check out NY Pan website. Dennis Kucinich for Ohio Governor. Amy Villiard, no, uh, Nevada. Let's see. I think we saw that one, Tim Canova. Those that have a CDP next to their name were supported by the party. As you know, some of our progressives, Dottie Nyard and Laura Robinson Oatman, have already dropped out. But we have others who are not supported. Ricardo Rico Franco and Brian Ford for Congress among them. Uh, all I'm saying is, look at this list. I mean, this is people coming out saying the Democratic Party is shafting us in mass. This is not one of the two, two or three people. This is all throughout the United States. The Democratic Party is putting their thumb on a scale, oftentimes in favor of cash and never in favor of the lefties, the populace. Why? What does it need to take? They don't want you. They just want your votes. They will give you lip service all day, but they're not changing who they are. The guy who wrote the article, Bernie Sanders, has his foot on the throat of the Democratic Party. What about now? All of these people are not insane. All of these people are saying we are being shafted by the party. One after the next, one after the next, all throughout the United States. We are being shafted by a party that has a point of view of the world that is putting their thumb on the scale. Why are you continuing to support a party that is rigging the process against you? It's one thing if you had a fair shake in the process. It's one thing if they were being impartial and you were running in this process where you're impartial and you're in this kind of small d democracy and the public makes their pick. That is not what's taking place. Nancy Pelosi, the number one Democrat as a House of Representatives, has come out defending it. Steny Hoyer went out doing it, essentially trying to push out lefties. And in one place after the next, you have Democrats. <laughs> Fuck democracy. Fuck democracy. We want a uniform process ordered around what we believe should be called the Democratic Party. We don't care about values. We don't care about those things. We understand you care about clean energy. We understand you care about health care. We understand you care about education. We understand you have a host of progressive issues that you want to get involved in. We will give you lip service. 
but we just want your votes. We want you out of this process. We want an orderly process organized around our vision of what the world in the United States should be. They've lost 1,100 seats all throughout the United States, and yet they still, like the guy who never, you know, regardless of how often he misses the shot, still wants the ball. You're being cheated. They're rigging the process. I understand you believe you're rigging the, you're, you're boarding the ship. You're not boarding anything. They pull up the, the, the planks and everything else before you even had a chance to get on the boat. This is your Democratic Party. This is what they're doing. Why are you still supporting a party that is fundamentally rigging the process against people like you who want to affect their change on the world? That's my question. How do you, how, it's like, how do you reconcile voting for a party that is essentially is cheating people like you? And how do those people pull themselves out the process and then vote Democrat after being cheated in that process? The only sane response is what Tim Canova is doing is running as a third party. If you can't run within the political process to get your ideas out because they're cheating the process in order to get certain people who they themselves believe is more tuned to them, their likes, the corporatists of the bunch, then why are you running in their process? Why are you running in their process? Run as an independent even if you lose, at the very least, it shows teeth. Whining, complaining, and crying about it is not going to get you anywhere. This is politics. There's no crying in politics. What are you going to do, bleed all day or do something about it? What are you going to do, bleed all day? Aren't you sick of bleeding all day? Show your teeth. Run as an independent if you feel you're being cheated in that process. And if you're not somebody who's necessarily running in the race, stop voting for people who are cheating you. Stop voting for people who are cheating you. You are something fundamentally different if they need to cheat you in this way. Acknowledge that you're something fundamentally different. And stand in the solidarity of no. Make a determination on what you want to be, yes. But at the very least, stand in the solidarity of no. And stop being complicit to somebody who's essentially infecting their vision of the world. Heavy-handedly. In the political apparatus itself. They're rigging the system to get their candidates in office. They think this is perfectly okay. You make the point that this is undemocratic. They say it's pragmatic. Whatever. It's undemocratic. Call it what it is. You're cheating. And it's not just three or four. It's all throughout the United States. So I'll leave it at that. This one is not meant to be long. But this is a long list of people who said a Democratic Party is working the process against them. And after the audio tape of Steny Hoyer, it is no longer in doubt that the Democratic Party is doing this. Those people are not paranoid. Sometimes you're not, you know, yeah, you may be paranoid. It doesn't mean people are not out necessarily out to get you. In this case, the DCCC is out to get these progressive candidates. So I will leave it at that. All right, guys, if you enjoy the content, please feel free to share, like, subscribe. And, of course, you can always support the patron. I, I get annoyed by this because I feel like why would you vote for somebody who's actively out, out of sync with your best interests and is actively tilting the process like rigging the process to try to enforce their idea of what they want their political you know what they want politics to be on the world that does not allow for the populace to change what they want in a policy standpoint they try to infect their will on the rest of the american population that needs to change even if that means they need to lose that needs to change the democratic party should not be able to just say this is what we want our party to be what does the public want? They're supposed to be the avatar of public will, not necessarily a thing unto themselves where they believe that they know better than the rest of the population. They need to lose. That's what it boils down to. It's not that I want a Republican in that office, but I do not want a Democrat winning in the way that they're trying to win. I'll leave it at that. Thanks, guys.